Hey guys, it's Leopold the Brave, and today we're going to be reviewing Big Hero 6. And I know, I know, this template is boring, you need something more exciting, and I will fix it just as soon as my OCD stops acting up. <clears throat> because you see, it would get on my nerves for every single review except for one to use a certain template. So I'm gonna use this one just for a little bit longer, you know, just to sort of even things out. Also, I'm very lazy. Anyways, on to the review. Big Hero 6 stars our hero, Hero, and his attempt to join an advanced technological robotics college or whatever. But he gets just a little sidetracked after the death of his brother Tadashi, who was killed in a fire. Hero then begins to wonder if said fire was even an accident when Tadashi's robotics project, Baymax, discovers something interesting. The microbots that Hero invented to get into the technical college had been stolen. So Hero enlists the help of Tadashi's college friends in order to catch this thief and put a stop to him for good. Now, I want to start off by saying that I do like this movie, but it's not one of Disney's best. I mean, it is pretty obvious when you take a look at the writing, which is filled with unnecessary exposition. You graduated high school when you were 13, and this is what you're doing- <laughs> Yes, Hero, I am your big brother. I am establishing that you are a genius and that you are young by saying that you have graduated high school when you are 13 when we are doing nothing related to high school or being 13. Oh, oh, you think I'm nitpicking? It gets worse. Oh, what would mom and dad say? I don't know. They're, they're gone. They died when I was three, remember? Oof, not just I don't know. Not just I don't know, they died when I was three. It's, I don't know, they died when I was three, remember. Yes, Tadashi, my older brother. Do you remember that our parents perished when I was at a young age of three, when even I shouldn't be able to remember? As if the fact that we are living with our aunt didn't give the viewers enough of a clue. And there are a few other scenes of the movie like this that I'm not going to go over because it would take up the whole video. I just find it funny that the movie tries so hard to over-explain the plot, yet doesn't explain at all how some of the made-up science in the movie works. On the subject of the made-up science, though, there's actually a positive. I like how when all the characters are turned into superheroes, each of their abilities is based on the science they major in. Hero and Baymax have magnets on them so they can easily attach to each other like the microbots. Wasabi has the lasers, Gogo -Go has the bike thing, Honey Lemon has the chemical metal embrittlement whatever, and Fred is the dragon dude. Speaking of Fred though, I don't know if it's because I know someone exactly like him in real life, but this dude is hilarious. And the fact that the other characters get so annoyed from the things he says makes it even more endearing. Nope. Well then, what about Invisible Sandwich? Hero, imagine eating a sandwich, but everybody just thinks you're crazy. Just stop. Mm -mm -mm. The amulet is green. Mm -mm -mm. It's probably an emerald. Fred, mm -mm. I will laser hand you in the face. But sadly, I think Fred is as far as the humor goes in this movie. Baymax is the other big joke magnet, but all of his jokes are pretty much the same. Taking forever to do things finish a sentence, walking, moving, inflating, deflating. It's funny the first time, but it really gets tiring when it happens several times throughout the movie. With that said though, what about the serious side of the movie? I actually think it does a pretty good job handling loss. And no 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 no, I don't mean the tear jerk bait. Oh boohoo Tadashi, oh boohoo Baymax. What I mean is how it's affecting Hero as a character. It shows the massive toll it can take on you and the irrational choices it can cause you to make. To this very day, Baymax Destroy is one of my favorite scenes from modern animated films. Just the way it shows how the most heroic of characters can do something considered downright villainous when they can't even process their own feelings. But hey, I'm getting ahead of myself. I haven't even talked about the animation yet. Well, that's because there's actually not really much to say. I mean, I do like how the character designs don't have typical Disney princess face, but there's not really anything special that makes it stand out. Overall, I think Big Hero 6 is a very decent movie. Not one of Disney's best, but still very decent. I definitely think it's worth your time if you're thinking about checking it out, but it's nothing you should really rush to see, and you're not really missing anything if you don't see it. I was gonna give this movie a C plus for being generic but passable, but now I'm thinking I'll move it up to a B minus for Fred and how it handles death. So, Big Hero 6 gets a B minus.